Justice Markande Kachu, thank you for joining me. Uh, we can avoid this whole debate which will follow later. If you on news are tonight, simply say sorry to two members of the Netaji family, Ardendu Bose, nephew of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose and Chandra Kumar Bose, grand nephew of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. They will be joining in a minute. In fact, they can hear you now. If you apologize to them for your condemnable comments where you have tried to belittle the stature of one of India's greatest freedom fighters and discredit his contribution to India's freedom struggle and undermine the fact that his ultimate objective was the independence of India and the lengths he went to achieve it. If you say sorry for doing what you've done, then we can avoid the debate. Would you choose to apologize uh, with the greatest of respect to you, Justice Karju? Would you choose to apologize to the members of the Netaji family or else we'll take the debate forward? Your choice. No question of apology. For speaking the truth, there is no question of apology. But since the furious attack has been launched on me by several people, I request you, Arnab, to give me some time to explain my point of view uh, and uh, without interruption. If you permit me, I wish to make three points about Subhash Chand Bose. Firstly, it is said that uh, Subhash Chand Bose was correct in allying with the uh, uh, Japanese because an enemy's enemy is one's friend. Right. Our enemy was the British and Japan was the, Brit uh, was the enemy of Britain. Therefore, Japan was our friend. Now, the flaw in this reasoning is this. You see, if alliance with the Japanese had in any way benefited India, I would have accepted it. But there, there was no question of India getting any benefit by this alliance. In fact, if the Japanese with the help of Subhash Chandra Bose had defeated the British, they would not have given us freedom. They would have made us their colony and looted India the way they looted uh, Korea, Manchuria, uh, parts of North China, Vietnam, etc. You must understand the historical situation at that time. You Sir? see, Japanese industries had grown. And one minute, Japanese industries had grown and they wanted colonies because colonies are sources of raw material and markets and therefore they uh, started on a road of militant expansionism from the early 30s. Japan conquered Korea, then Manchuria, then other and they came right up to Singapore and Burma. If they had conquered uh, India, they would have not given us freedom. They would have looted us. In fact, they would have been more ruthless than the so British. So have you finished? Can I, can I ask you a counter question? No, I'm not. I'm not can finished. I, can I ask you a counter finished. question? Permit Please, me allow speak. me. Allow me, Justice Kaju. I wanted to make three points. No, no, no. You, I, I, you one second. One, you, you can make your point. points, but Justice Kaju, I find it absolutely unacceptable. Yes. I'm saying this to you with a great degree of personal respect and regard for you. I'm, I'm constrained to tell you this, that unfortunately, Justice Kaju, you have no idea about the real facts and the depth of this case. You have a wrong and flawed notion of history. You are not aware of what versions have been given by various historians. You have come to a superficial, and again I'm saying this to you, I respect you, but you have carried out a superficial and supercilious understanding of facts to bring a provocative case. You do not even know that Netaji was severely critical of Germany's invasion of the Soviet Union. You do not even know that Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose strongly demanded a declaration of support for Indian independence from the Germans and warned them that the closer they moved towards India in the event they didn't give this declaration, the more they would be viewed as enemies. You should be reading the books on that without knowing the facts. I don't know why you plunged head forth. You know, without knowing the facts, you, you have... Unfortunately, again, with great personal regard to you, sir, you have this tendency nowadays to plunge completely into debates without being aware of the full facts of the case. Why are you doing this, Justice Kutch? And once again, perhaps Arnab, an apology you, will you have the, you be have better. The urban, yeah. Yes, please. Arnab, you have, the, you have the habit of abusing, abusing the people you come on your panel. That is your habit. Please, I requested you right in the beginning, please allow me just to complete three points. Before I completed my first point, you launched a vicious attack on me without even allowing me to complete even the first point, what to say of the other two points. I mean, is this the way uh, an anchor should behave? Please learn some discipline uh, 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 for yourself now. Now, let me complete. I only countered See, you. Please continue. You must understand. 
please let me speak anna what is this interrupting again and again see uh, you must understand the nature of uh, uh, japan at that period it was a fascist country they were ruthless people do you know what they did in shanghai and nanking so you they they massacred the people of shanghai let me complete anna for god sake they massacred the people in shanghai and nanking because they resisted the uh, japanese invasion and if uh, 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 japan had had uh, conquered india and anybody resisted them they would have massacred our people because they were fascists you must understand their nature they were militants like nazis and second point when japan surrendered in 1945 why did uh, uh, subhash chand bose give up the fight he should have started a guerrilla okay. war the way the have uh, you, uh, chinese you fought against the once, japanese once, 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 no no hold on hold on let him complete i have a counter question I mean, i'll ask the first counter question then we go on second no no we 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 continue we'll we'll let him complete and then i'll ask a counter question then we continue justice kadju there is my problem my problem sir my problem sir is with your language sir one minute sir you have a right to have your point one second but justice kadju you have used the kind of language that is not worthy of a former supreme court judge you have gone on to say that the japanese accepted netaji as quote their loyal running dog this language justice kadju is unacceptable from anyone now having said that let May me I debunk reply? your theory no May no let me debunk your theory sir please May hear I me reply? sir it would be fair. no no let me debunk your theory then you reply no you will debunk let, i will debunk your theory then you reply let me complete my no, let, let me let me give you the what contrary view now i sir, please, please let me give you a contrary you view to one, one, one view ask, one no, contrary no, please. view when i when Why no no i will view? not when you requested me to come why don't you hear, allow me to complete my what i want to say when you requested me to come on this show i made a very humble request to you that just give me a few minutes in the beginning without your interruption but you are not doing that just let me complete then you interrupt me as much as you like for god's sake don't get over this habit of nasty habit of yours or interrupting constantly see just consider <coughs> that when when the japanese surrendered in 1945 If there was anything in this man, he should have started a guerrilla war the way the Chinese fought against the Japanese. Uh, he he immediately he gave up the fight. There was nothing in the man. Okay. Thirdly, you see, he initially Subhash Chandra Bose. You know, he may have been an honest man. He resigned from ICS and became a nationalist and all. Yes, Later on, it appears that he became over ambitious. He went to the extent of going to Germany and hobnobbing with Hitler and Himmler, people who okay, sent now. millions of Jews to gas chambers. Yeah. You can see his photographs. Okay, and now. he he wanted to become okay, a, now, a, a now, collaborator now, with the just, Nazis. Justice Kaju, can, can I now can I now come in? Collaborating. Can I now come in? Can I now come in? Justice Kaju, before I go to yes. the others, I want to yes, now please. counter you. And 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 Justice Kaju, yes. yes. you have accused me of having a nasty habit of interrupting. I don't have a nasty habit of interrupting but I do have a nasty habit here which I think is an acceptable habit if somebody says something without having the facts it is my responsibility justice kadju to correct them even if the person is on the other side is just as much you, you don't have the facts you so are, I have the facts now knowing. you you would have to you listen to my facts no, no no you you, you, listen, nobody, you listen to my no, facts no, nobody now, knows the facts so you Anna, listen to my facts Anna, justice no, kadju you listen I, to the counter I facts listen, I want to share something with you you listen to me listen to hear the counter fact and then argue my point is sir i am quoting from the book the indian national army and japan which shows that netaji bose is no stooge of the japanese neither an agent because when the japanese were seeking to make inroads into india to drive out the british and insisted that the burden of battle would be borne by the japanese army it was netaji bose who disagreed with the idea and stated that it would be the indian national army that would spearhead india's advance that doesn't make him a japanese h and justice kaju point 1 even as you claim that bose was naive in seeking the help of the japanese despite their imperial ambitions there is a contrarian view that has claimed that the japanese would not have replaced the british as conquerors jo joyce lebra in his paper japanese policy and the indian national army says that japan's intentions were to fuel the nationalist movement in india against the british but conquering india the colony was not in their sights so please place yourself the japanese had limited objectives you need to be aware of those facts before calling somebody like netaji subhash chandra bose you know their loyal running dog 
and now justice kaju i need think you may need I, to I, hear from the other side of now, chandra may I, kumar may bose first may i interrupt you sir, one, sir, one please, second i present a fact to you the expression no one second i the present a fact to you sir the dog is a chinese chinese one minute the expression running dog is a chinese expression which means a lackey it does not literally mean a dog sir It's you cannot expression. use this kind of language if you are not aware of the facts you have been proven wrong on facts now please understand you chandra kumar bose no, sir you can't Goswami be intolerant of every person's views chandra Ar kumar bose is responding to chandra kumar bose is responding to you sir please hear him and i nobody in the sir, world please you need to be aware of the the reason i want chandra kumar bose is saying something to hear him go ahead chandra kumar bose well with due respects to justice kadju i understand he was a very astute judge of the supreme court of india but uh, i feel that justice kadju needs to educate himself on the indian freedom movement and also understand the final onslaught which was lodged by the azad hind fourth soldiers under the leadership of netaji subhash chandra bose now you can always criticize you know uh, but there is nothing there's there's no harm in criticizing but you must get your facts correct you cannot have a distorted view of history and argue based on that distorted facts history has been distorted over the years and justice kadju i feel is just a cog in that wheel he right. is part of that process mm -hmm. of distorting the history of indian freedom movement okay i would like to quote from michael edwards you see michael edwards was a british historian not an indian historian a british historian he wrote a book the last years of british india he has very clearly specified certain things i would like to quote from his book it slowly dawned upon the government of india the british government of india that the backbone of the british rule the indian british indian army might now no longer be trustworthy the ghost of subhash bose like hamlet's father walked the battleground of the red fort where tried and this suddenly amplified figure overawed the conference that was to lead to independence this is michael edwards the other thing that i would like to state lord clement attlee who was involved with the transfer of power had clearly stated that it was none other than the battle of azad hind forge and the subsequent ina trials which completely shook the foundations of the british empire this is a british prime minister stating right okay so there since, were a lot of other revolutionaries no, no, since, who since, contributed since, but the final onslaught india would have still been under british domination if not for netaji subhash chandra bose can justice card you reply to this question so uh, uh, yes, now i would now, like to reply now justice card you if yeah, you I do not like have reply. a factual no, reply, reply the option of an apology exists yes continue please are then the no, bose no, will come no in. question you you people should apologize you people should apologize to me so answer factually no i want to reply answer factually we are not apologizing yes, to you we are uh, indulging you I'm in the debate yeah go ahead yes i'm 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 answering factually mm. firstly this azad hind fauj was just a ragtag army that's your it opinion answer with army. facts you glamour, so glamour. you are answering with let, opinion let me what is it, your please. fact counter him with uh, facts my facts are see what fact now will you let me speak or just ha habit will you let me speak for god said let me speak mr arnab goswami what is this habit of yours you won't let anybody speak except yourself you like to hear your voice sir just now please hear me see so far as, so far as india's independence is concerned india's independence was firstly because germany attacked england during the second world war and considerably weakened england and possibly could have conquered england but for american support so this and all when americans came to the support of england they accepted their price they said that now we will help you only so if you open up the indian market 
for our investment, our industries sir. are growing. We want uh, sir, give it me a to open up Where for our investment, our from? market also. Source? So it is because what is your source? Uh, it is because of uh, Germany's. Anuj, that are you not aware that Germany attacked? Sir, I, sir, are you, you not aware? Sir, sir, are you not aware? Sir, no, sir, I don't think just Justice Cardo. What is he talking about? Anuj, Goswami, you are not aware that in the. Anuj, that no, no, what is Justice Cardo? Justice Cardo, I am requesting you tonight. I am just Anuj, that is just calling. Anuj, that Anuj, that please. Anuj Dar, Anuj Dar, Anuj Dar, Justice Karju, except, except Annab Goswami should speak, Justice, nobody else should Justice speak. Justice Karju, the limited point, one second Anuj, the limited point I am making to you is, I present fact to you, you present your point of view. And I'm I know, facts. you know, I'll present, no, I'll, no, I'll present, the, 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 one I'm second, a member facts. of the family has quoted Prime we're Minister Clement Attlee. Sir, so one second, you may be, a, sir, 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 with respect to you, Clement you are a retired Attlee Supreme, Supreme Court judge, but that does not, the, a group of British MPs who met Prime Minister Clement Attlee in 1946 acknowledged the threat of the Indian National Army. Even the British intelligence, for your kind information, in November 1949, as per Sir Norman Smith, who was a director of the Intelligence Bureau, took cognizance of the threat of the Indian National Army. And if you are not satisfied with even that, let me tell you that Baba Sahib Ambedkar, in an interview with the British Broadcasting Corporation in 1955, said that, that one of the reasons why the British left was the INA. Now, I am countering you with fact. You appear to have no facts at your disposal now, Justice Kaju. Only your you sweeping generalizations. This is abuse. Annab Goswami, you are accustomed to abusing people. That I'm, you I'm no presenting facts. you with facts, sir. Mm -hmm. you, there's not one abuse. No, you, there's not one abuse, sir. I presented facts no, to you, sir. This is your habit. I presented facts to you, sir. On your TV you, channels, I'm you sorry. abuse people. No, no, you, you abuse people. When I'm countering people, you, you with facts, you call this it is abuse. This your regular habit. You think, you think your TRP rating So you answer my questions with facts. It's a debate. If you have the facts, counter me with facts. people, hit your... I'm answering you. If you are let, let me speak. Well, I'm waiting. You're I'm not presenting one fact. <coughs> that you think so. I think otherwise. So let us agree to disagree. You think I'm not presenting facts. I think I am. So let us agree to disagree. Okay, we disagree See, on let that. Let me tell you one thing. Anup, can <laughs> I come in for a minute? Just just one. No, minute. let him complete and then you come in. Yeah, come continue, Justice Karju. Continue, Justice Karju. The Indian independence had nothing to do with uh, either Subhash Chand Bose or with uh, Gandhi, it was because of the Second World War when Germany attacked I England okay. and considerably weakened it and Americans came to uh, England's help and right. extracted their price that you must open up the Indian market. Okay. You alone will not invest in... in, in uh, Sir, India. Justice Kaju, Justice Kaju, I have given, I have given, now, so now, you this see... This was two reasons. That's your view. One, one was a G German attack on Britain. Second, so that's your uh, American pressure on Britain that you must that's all your uh, open up the Indian market for sir, our are you Are you even this aware of the, the facts in this India's case? Sir, are you even aware? I'm sorry, you call it abuse. If countering you on fact is abuse, then I really think you have got the definition of abuse wrong. Are you aware that there was friction between Bose and the Japanese over the limitations of Japan? Are you aware that the Indian National Army was no stooge of Japan, but that the Indian units in the Indian National Army fought under Indian officers, a demand that Netaji he made and saw to it that he was achieved you cannot call that person a Japanese agent and use words like dog and then say that I have used it in some form of a cliche I, I think it is inappropriate dog. I said running dog don't don't twist I said running dog what, I sir, your ex dog. and running dog is a so Chinese, what is the word you use Chinese expression which means a lucky a lucky well I've proven to you is not a lucky now counter me on fact I've proven you but I've just proven to you is not a lucky now counter me on fact Chinese expression Please let me speak. It, running dog is a Chinese expression which means a lucky. Sir, you Please, got it. I never right. said dog. Okay, now, now Anuj dog, Dhar. Which, which is a Chinese expression. Okay, Justice Kaju. Justice so Kaju, Anuj that, Dhar. Uh, uh, even. Uh, Arnab, uh, Justice Kaju, Anuj must, Dhar uh, is author of India's biggest cover up. He is an RTI activist. He is an expert on the history of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. He wants to take you on, sir. And we'll all take you on on fact. You are only responding with sweeping opinion. I want Justice Markande Kaju to respond on fact, but he's not being able to. Anuj Dhar is also countering you on fact. Go ahead, Anuj. Uh, Arnab, the, the point here, there's a hidden meaning behind what Justice Kaju is saying. I'm sorry to say this thing. He's a eminent former Supreme Court judge, and I have always had highest regard for him, because, especially because grandfather played a very good, big role in the INA trials. I wonder if he bothered to go through the, you know, the deposition of different witnesses before the, you know, the, the trials were on. The Japanese, what they said, 
the Indians what they said. In fact, there was this Costa Commission in 1970s when Japanese who were in charge of the iron operations, they deposed. All of them said with, with one voice, INA was independent and they fought for India's freedom and we were supporting them. Please do not club Japanese, Chinese into one, one league. Good. Japan always treated India differently because India was a land of Buddha. In fact, even today, the Ministry of External Affairs, they recognize India's closeness to Japan. Even today, one of the reasons is Subhashan Rebos and Lord Buddha. Kindly, Japanese, of course, so did do something off, wrong with the Russian. Don't laugh it off, But these are the facts. Yeah. No, there's a, there's a hidden, hidden meaning behind all this thing. I remember, I think it's January 1st, uh, 2015, Justice Karju wrote in his blog that uh, Pandit Nehru was the most respectable political leader of all times. That's what he was saying. So that, I think, is the reason for his outburst. You know, he's trying to spit at the sun right now. Now, Justice Kardju, you know, this most respected leader, he was a victim of the British propaganda during Second World War. This, the language which you're using right now is basically British wartime propaganda, psychological warfare of which you are a victim, sir. Now, what the British said in those days, that Japanese are trying to occupy India and they will run us down. So please help us and become part of the Indian Army. Now, Mr. Nehru, in the course of uh, this particular, you know, Second World War, he made anti Subhashpur statements one after another. In 42, he said that he will fight Subhashpur to death if he came with the, with the Japanese help. No, you are simply carrying forward that kind of propaganda. This is untrue. Each and every top Japanese officer who was captured after war, when he was interrogated, not a word, not an oil of evidence, sir, there is to support the theory that Japanese wanted to colonize India. Japan had entirely different view of India than c compared to China and, and other countries. Please do not mix up things. And Subhash Panchandra Bose's role in making India free is unparalleled. I think not an, apology, the card, I mean, an apology could 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 lead to a to a to a resolution of this debate. But Justice Kaju, I don't think. Are Do you think an apology is in no, order you from people Justice Kaju? From you, you sir. people on the panel apologize to me. You have been giving me threats. I mean, you're you spitting at the, the sun, sir. Why should you apologize? I mean, the spit will fall on your face. Where's the question? You're I'm spitting at the, the sun, and you, you, oh, <laughs> oh, you want us to apologize to you. I'm so sorry. I, I'm sorry, you sir. I, I, I have to use this particular phrase for you. Sir. You are being a stooge of Nehru. Because what Nehru was doing in Second World War, you're doing today in prime time television. I mean, he was saying, Ki, I will fight Subhash was to death. And here, yeah, here is as a well, I guess, uh, clash with Kardu's grandson on television talking about Arvind Bose. So Arvind Bose is nephew of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose from Mumbai tonight. He has uh, I, something to say to you, Justice Kardu. Go ahead, Arvind Bose. I guess uh, what uh, Anuj Dar is saying is probably right because Mr. Makaran Kardu probably comes to from this, the same part of India as Jawaharlal Nehru did. Uh, first of all, I don't know why he's not, um, Justice Kardju is not saying that uh, Subhash Bose was a stooge and an agent of Adolf Hitler or the Nazi party. Because the first INA was really started in, the, in, in, uh, uh, in, in Germany uh, and uh, with the uh, POWs that were taken, in the British Indian Army uh, POWs that were taken by Rommel in the desert and they were they were called the Friars Indian Regiment. Uh, so if anything Justice Katju should say that first of all Bose was a Nazi agent uh, and a Nazi stooge. Uh, secondly uh, uh, 26, if I, if 26 thousand INS soldiers perished on the hill slopes on the mountain sides of Kohima. And as Chandra Bose has said, uh, Lord Clement actually admitted that the reason why they left India was because of the activities of uh, Subhash Chandra Bose and the Azad Hind Forge. Because uh, and the reason for the naval mutiny, the reason for the naval, naval mutiny in Mumbai or Bombay in those days was because of the activities of the INA. Because the armed forces at that time, they realized the real freedom fighters, real freedom fighters were the soldiers of the Azad Hind Forge who gave their lives for nothing. Yeah. They got nothing in return. Subhash Post promised them nothing. Subhash Post just promised them That's uh, right. hunger and want and death. That's what, he, that's what he said. Give me blood and I will give you freedom. I mean, the, the, the people and the Indians in Southeast Asia are not fools. The women, when he stood up on, on the stage and said, Mujhe khun do, azadi dunga. The women were not stupid to come and lay down, take out the Mangal Sutras and lay, lay them on, on, on their feet. And the women were not stupid 
for bringing their babies in their arms and putting their babies on the feet of Subhash Chandra Bose. If he was a Japanese stooge, there were two million Indians in Southeast Asia. If he was a Japanese stooge, would the Indians there do things like this? Chandra Kumar Bose. Justice Ch Kasdu has no. got his facts a bit wrong. Yeah, Justice I don't Kaj really care about. I don't really care about an apology from yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, really, yeah. It, it, it's, it's immaterial. Yeah, it, I, it, I, it, I, I think Justice Kachu needs to have his head examined. That's about it. Well, Justice Kachu... Look at the abuse these people are uttering. Look at, look, at, look at the language these people that I should get my head... I mean, why should their head not be examined? Is this the way to talk? And these are supposed to be educated people. Because the 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 time, when you start spitting at the sun, obviously people will I'm ask you to you know, get your head checked, of course. I, I, I'm, listen, I have never said a word against you on a personal basis. Look at the language you have used Sir, against me. Sir, the point is... You should be ashamed. Okay, let's not, let's not. No, you no, no personal, I don't, no, no, I don't, language. I don't, I don't appreciate any personal attacks. We should not attack Justice Kaju personally. I think we take that back. The but point is, no, no, now. one second. However, however, talk. Justice Kaju, Justice Kaju, I want to take I you on on they fact. apologize. I want to take you on on fact. You have got your, you have been unable to respond on fact. Now let me continue to question you on fact and I'm giving you enough chances. You say that the fact that Bose did not engage in guerrilla warfare against the British after the surrender shows who's making. There was nothing in the man. You use that kind of word, there was nothing in the man. You overlook the fact that the British very much had the INA on their mind. This has been mentioned widely in their decision to bring forward India's independence. This demolishes your claim that Bose was merely an agent of the Japanese and the Germans. Do you want me to give you more proof? I've given you so much proof of that tonight. So the point that emerges is Justice May Kaju. Hey, no, 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 Justice Kaju, you May have. I answer now. Ju yeah, Justice Kaju, you have made the sweeping generalization. There was nothing in the man. I can prove you wrong on further on facts. Respond with one fact tonight. I have given you ten tonight. Present May one I counter May I fact. Now? I don't want your opinion, Justice Kaju. I want May a fact. I want a piece of May fact tonight on the program. You, you, you respond on fact, Justice Kaju. May I answer you for yes. God's sake? Let me answer you. With facts or with you opinion? You will not write a person with facts. answer. No, no, with facts. You have facts? You have a fact? Please, let me answer Do with you facts. Have facts. See, first of all, are you going to you respond are... with facts? Let me answer you for God's okay, sake. Okay, answer on fact. Arnab, what is wrong with you? Answer with facts, sir. Go ahead, yes, answer I'm with facts. I'm answering fact. on facts if you let me. Okay, I'll watch. Please be silent now. See, these people are quoting Clement Attlee and this and that. You know, uh, uh, are you, uh, 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 whatever Clement Attlee and these Britishers say is all gospel truth. Okay, what about, what, about what, about minute, what about Ambedkar? What about Ambedkar? What about Ambedkar? Ambedkar, General Sena. What about Ambedkar? We can count one after another so many names. Do you believe? What about Listen, Ambedkar? You want me to quote Ambedkar? I am telling you. Can I quote Ambedkar to you? I am only I want to saying, quote Ambedkar to you in the BBC you 1955, you Justice Kaju. Justice Kaju, I want to counter you. I'll let you speak. You, you let no, let no, you speak. You, you let no, no, I'll let you speak. In 1955, Ambedkar gave an interview to BBC where he said, and I quote, from my analysis, two things that led the Labour Party to take the decision to free India. One, the national army that was raised by Subhash Chandra Bose. The British had been ruling the country in the firm belief that whatever may happen in the country or whatever politicians do, they will never be able to change the loyalty of soldiers. That was one prop they were carrying from the administration that was dashed to pieces. They found that soldiers could be seduced to form a party, a battalion to blow off the British. This is Baba Sahib Ambedkar. You don't want to listen to Sir Norman Smith. You don't believe Clement Attlee. You don't believe anybody except yourself. But I am quoting Ambedkar to you since say on national television tonight that I don't even believe in what Ambedkar said. So many facts, not one response on fact from you, Justice Kaju. Not one. Now, may I answer? Yes, please may do. I answer? Please do. I'm giving you full opportunity to answer. For, and for, you are not giving opportunity because the moment half a sentence I speak, you start interrupting. This is your habit. Now, please speak. Uh, please be silent. See, first of all, let me tell you, I don't blindly accept anything I, which anybody says, whether Clement Attlee or M uh, Ambedkar, everything I test. You must first understand the nature of the Japanese fascism. They, they declared the policy of uh, greater co-prosperity co sphere. What? If you remember, they wanted to uh, dominate the whole of Eastern and Southern Asia and make it their colony, which would include India. This saying that the, it was the land of Buddha, so they will not do What nonsense is this? So what, where is your opinion? Is no, what is your opinion? Where is your Sir, answer, you answer, answer, I, 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 you I, everything I've said is legally tenable. What are you talking about? Anushka is countering you. Give me a single piece of document. 
they wanted it's legally tenable and, 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 everything i've said and uh, and, and market there is no the documentary evidence there is nothing to suggest to, to, even remotely the japanese wanted to over an in india sir please get the fact right japanese dealt because, with then india why and were china they differently against, against the britain no no they were fighting chandra bose uh, 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 chandra bose the, uh, chandra the, bose the one sec chandra bose so i now quote let me let me reply this so this azad hind fauj was nothing but nothing but let me complete azad hind fauj was nothing but a ragtag army so that's your opinion again that's your opinion so much of this army was in fact where's your can you quote one can you quote one book one historical source nothing but a ragtag army can you can you sir sir one second markand justice markande kaju is the only source you have your own opinion can you quote one point now let me quote for you the indian national army and japan the book says and i quote terauchi who was the field marshal count terauchi commander of the southern army he explained to bose that the japanese forces were preparing a campaign to india terauchi's explanation of the ina's role was unacceptable to bose both at the first meeting and later when the strategy of the imphal campaign was being planned for your kind information and i'm sorry to have to correct you so many times justice kaju i'm not enjoying this Bose made it clear to the Japanese that the only role acceptable to the INA in an Indian campaign would be the spearhead of the advance. Indian freedom had to be won by Indians. Freedom secured through Japanese sacrifices would be worse than slavery. The first drop of blood shed on Indian soil must be that of the soldier of the Indian National Army. This is a historical fact for your kind information, Justice Markande Kaju. now you can give me any opinion and say anything about netaji subhash chandra bose but i'll tell you for once and i'm requesting you tonight counter me with fact counter any of our panelists with fact you say wamadi is ragtag someone you call names you say all kinds of things but counter on fact tonight chandra bose also wants to counter you chandra bose to justice markande kaju extending this debate by a few minutes chandra bose please go ahead chandra bose please subhash chandra bose was a pragmatist he knew that the congress leaders are not capable to get freedom for india that is why he took foreign help now i would like to state winston churchill had an alliance with stalin does that mean winston churchill was a communist roosevelt also made a war time pact with uh, uh, the communists does it mean that roosevelt was a communist please answer these questions the other issue that i would like to Good raise point. he has insulted the two great sons of india the other one is rabindranath tagore do you know tagore denounced the knighthood from the british empire the raulat act was in force that time uh, rabindranath tagore could have been arrested but he took the risk and he denounced the raulat act how dare today tagore was one of the first nationalists he was a nationalist to the core Do you know Tagore composed Jana Gana Mana, the national anthem? And do you know where national anthem was born? It was born in Hamburg on the 11th of September 1942 at the Hotel Atlantic. And do you know who approved the national anthem of India? It was Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. These were the two greatest sons of India. They were the first nationalists of India. I think it is an anti-national comment, and the people of India would rise against you, sir. Justice cut you. You kindly withdraw this statement against Rabindranath Tagore and Subhash Chandra Bose. They had shown the path for independence. No, no, one second, one second, one one second. second. sir, sir, sir. Let me tell you what, been proven, what has been proven. What has been proven? One second. Such comments. One second. What Please has been what has been proven substantially? Effect. What has been proven substantially in the course of this discussion? is that justice markande kaju you do not have the historical facts you are weak on the facts we've countered you with facts you've been unable to answer clearly justice markande kaju you are neither aware on history nor are you an expert on literature so my question to you is do you only keep doing these things for publicity do you somehow want to be in the news because you know this this propensity of yours has to be questioned You may be a retired Supreme Court judge. If you do it for publicity, you will be questioned. You will be hauled over the coals. You will be questioned. You will be grilled. You will be asked what right you have to denigrate India's national icons in the sweeping manner that you do. Do you do it, Justice Kachu, with the greatest of respect to you? I'm asking you this question. Do you do it purely for publicity, Justice Kachu? 
And by the way, Ardhendu yeah, Bose wants to say something you before that. Ardhendu no, Bose. Ardhendu Bose. No, first of all, Arnab Goswami, you Arnab Goswami, you like to insult people on your show. No, I'm asking Arnab you a Arnab question. Arnab There's no insult Arnab involved. Arnab you like to Arnab insult Arnab people Arnab without Arnab knowing Arnab the facts. Arnab you are think you are over smart. Mr. Kartu, can I answer? No, I'm not. I answer on fact. I don't answer on this kind of personal tribe. I don't answer. I don't respond to personal tribe, sir. You I'm asking you questions. Goswami, that I am not aware of history. I have not read history. So I've asked, I've asked you questions on history. You've been unable. You're only responding with no, your opinion. One minute. What? Three people so on the think, panel. Everybody has no, asked you questions on facts. Is it what? in this democracy? In this democracy of ours, we are not allowed to question you on facts. No, we are. Where is the insults? I'm questioning you on facts. You are being unable to respond on facts. No. You respond on facts. I'm giving you opportunity to respond with facts. You have made personal comments in the start of this debate. You are not responding on facts, Justice I Kaju. You are the, I have not made a single against, personal against comment against on you, but you have. And I will not you take did, it lying down. Let's be clear about it. Yes, you please. Are they the boss? Made all kinds of allegations Sir, against Sir, there's me. no Arnab allegation. Goswami, you made. You made. You made you comments. Are, you are misbehaved, Arnab Goswami. You are misbehaved. You don't know how to behave. Fine. You can make any personal comment, Sir. I am. I am questioning you on fact. You have done it repeated. No, you. Yes, you do it every time. I am questioning you on fact. Why should? Why should what you say go unrebutted? Explain to me. Why should what you say go unrebutted? I am answering. I am saying Arnab, that the morale Japanese of the story, Arnab, <coughs> just one line, the morale of the story according to me, to, they, they if had, you spit uh, at the uh, sun, they had, uh, people uh, come back declared their your greater co-prosperity co sphere, that means conquering East, uh, East and Southern Asia and making their colony again. for the uh, markets again. and raw materials. I mean, he's just like keep repeating like a record. Oh, one second. I can repeat the same boss. British propaganda. Like a record. There you go again, sir. There you go again. Good Lord, Listen, you don't learn, learn things. I mean, at this age, was to capture markets and raw materials for their growing. So what's industry? wrong with that? that they were trying to have a commercial. Uh, so what's wrong with that thing? India is also trying to do the same thing sir, in Nepal and Bhutan. Sir, Justice what's wrong Kaju, with that? Justice Kaju, one point needs to be made to you quite clearly, and I am saying this to you with respect. You have no right. No, you don't give respect. Two of Arnab India's Arnab, you say with respect, but then you insult. No, I don't. You say, I'm, I'm not. Respect, I'm not. I am saying to you, sir. You say, you, no, if you believe habit. Justice it is your Kaju, regular habit Justice Kaju, if you believe yes. that you have the right yes. to insult two of India's greatest sons and go unquestioned, then you need to revisit your own interpretation of Indian democracy and what is the right of free speech. You have the right to free speech, but then you must be prepared to counter questions on the historical facts and whether you have any facts to back your sweeping generalizations. If you continue to make sweeping generalizations, we will counter you with fact. And by the way, Justice Markande Kaju, you are the one who has piled personal comments in the course of this discussion. I have only produced facts to you and produced facts which you've been unable to respond to. Now, Ardendu Bose wants to say something to you, sir. Ardendu Bose to Justice Markande Kaju, and then we'll close. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Kaju, I suppose uh, till today in the Indian Armed Forces they, great each, they greet each other with, with the slogan Jai Hind, Jai Hind sir. Uh, Mr. Kaju, are you aware of the fact who thought and who, who uh, in, uh, originated, where this, 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 this greeting Jai Hind originated? It originated on the high seas when Subhash Chandra Bose was in the submarine. And they thought, he said he must have a national greeting. And the national greeting, they thought, and his, his, his ADC, Abed Hussain, first of all, he was a youngster, he, he was a student, and he came and said that, he, he was joking with, with, with Subhash Bose, and he said, how about hello, sir? And Subhash Bose got very angry with him and said, look, Abed, get serious. I'm serious. We want to know. So Abed Hussain came out with, uh, how about Jai Hind? And Subhash Bose agreed to it. Also, Mr. Kaju. The, 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 the marching tune that the Indian army still uses today is Kadam Kadam Badhayaja. Where did that Kadam Kadam Badhayaja originate? It was the marching to the uh, tune of the INA. Are you trying to say that uh, the Indian armed forces uh, and, and the people of India uh, and, and that both were the stooge of the Japanese and, and the, the Indian Army will accept, and the Indian Armed Forces will accept the fact that they are following what was, what was originated by Subhash Chandra Bose. And, and, I, I, and, I, and I do agree with Arnab uh, when he says that 
I think, Justice Scott, you, you're coming out with all these statements. You've been doing it for the last year or so. We've yes. Been hearing you and we've, we've been reading. On the, I think you're doing it for publicity to come, and come, come into the media. Right. That's all you're trying to do. Right, Justice Scott, you. You yes, may get the attention, the but you won't go Arnab unquestioned. Arnab Goswami, you, 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 you asked me to come to this show. I never yes, I did. Uh, 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 volunteered. Yes, I, I never did. asked you to put me in the show. Yes, I did. And in future, future, please don't put, put me in sir, my show. I genuinely I, I believe no that if you believe that show. there will be one-sided communication. Sir, one second. second. When you come on this show, you will be questioned. You know that on my show, I question on fact. I have questioned you on fact. If you are frustrated that you've been unable to respond with facts, sir, do not respond with personal insults and attacking anyone personally. We are doing our journalism. We respect the work that we do. We don't need to learn it from you, sir, Justice Kaju. You need to understand this, that there will be those who will allow and, you to and, make sweeping and, generalizations, and then there will be some of us who will question you on fact, which is why I said every time, also. With, 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 with I have personal respect for you, but you cannot, Justice Kaju, make sweeping generalizations and expect that no journalist in this country will question you on fact. What have we done today? We've questioned you and on fact. Uh, you can, we have questioned you on fact. Uh, and let the viewers of this program why decide. Are you people called prostitutes? Let, no, you please, sir. Them, uh, now you know something, Justice Kaju. You, 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 you are unable to answer on fact. Unable to answer on fact. You are revealing you yourself. I request you. I request you not to not to debase the debate. I request you not to debase the debate. The way you are responding tonight, Justice Kaju has really revealed what you are all your about. Your Thank you very much, no, Justice no Kaju. You don't know how Viewers behave. have seen you tonight whether you could respond Goswami. with fact. Please don't, no, You've I, been I, unable I, to respond with I fact. Made a mistake in you, to well, your that's your fault, sir. You would insult, well, your fault, sir. I questioned you on fact. You're getting touchy. You can respond on fact. You couldn't. Your facts are weak, Justice Kaju. You have the habit of misbehaving on your show. Your facts are weak. by browbeating people, insulting people. Your facts have been weak, Justice Kaju. That is your fault. Not I will mine. never come to your show. You insult people, sir. Yes, sir, your your fault. I questioned you, you on fact. People. You've had all the way. most time on this discussion. No, I answered all the facts. You, you are wrong. I answered. You all only the gave facts. opinion, and Justice you Kaju. People, you misbehave. You, Let you the viewers misbehave. decide. Yes, you misbehave. That is the opinion Let of the many people. Decide. Many opinion of many people. Well, Anna Justice Kaju, let the viewers decide proudly. tonight yes, whether you could answer me on fact. You should learn how to. I thank you for joining me on debate number two on the news hour tonight. Thank you.